Hi everybody, this is Katie and today I am going to be doing the I Love Spring book tag. Uh, if this was a book tag that I saw a couple people do, including Simply a Book Lover and a few other people and I really thought that this was a really creative and unique tag and I thought that I would do it. Uh, I posted a comment on Simply a Book Lover's video saying that I wanted to do this and that I was probably going to do it without being tagged and she went ahead and tagged me in the comments, so I guess that's an official tag. The first question of this book tag is, how is spring where you live? I live in Southern California where it is bright and sunny most of the year, uh, other than summer where it's crazy hot but still bright and sunny. You know, the really big difference of spring compared to the rest of the year is allergies. I have a lot of spring allergies. That's really spring where I live and how spring plays a part in my daily life. Second question in this tag is the most anticipated book release of this spring and this book was released on March 29th and I went out on March 30th and I bought it. And that is a, a Kingdom Keepers novel the Return, Legacy of Secrets by Ridley Pearson. It's the second book in a spin-off trilogy from the original seven book series, Kingdom Keepers, that Ridley Pearson uh, came out with starting a long, long time ago. And it was really kind of the book series that got me into reading because I am a huge, huge Disney fan and I just thought that it was fantastic that the park could come alive after dark. The next question is, show us a book cover that makes you think of spring. And I am going to go for Once Was Lost by Sarah Zar. This makes me think of spring because of the flower and kind of like the um, misty hues of blue and green in the background. Grew up in New Hampshire. And these sort of color schemes are very common for New Hampshire, so it made me think of where I grew up uh, in the spring of that time. So this book cover just really kind of makes me think of home and where I grew up and with the flower and the spring. April showers bring May flowers and that's spring time. So yeah, this makes me think of spring. What are you going to be reading this spring? I am going to be reading probably exactly where I'm sitting. I might change it up. I might sit over there. I'm probably going to sit on my bed. I have two chairs over there I might sit on. You know, open up the windows and let the sun come in and read. Next is find a cover with the sun on it. And I'm going... In, this one was a little hard because not many books have the sun on them, I found. But I did find one. And that is Inside and Out by Stephanie Taylor. There's the sun right back there. It's setting or rising. It's, do, it's going up or down. It's doing one of those. And uh, this is a really quick short read, but it's really nice. I did a book talk on this. If you are interested, um, I believe it was the first video I've ever done for rapid reviews. And I will leave a link to this in the description below. The next question is, what are my favorite spring reads? And spring, you know, you get like the whole spring cleaning aspect and uh, starting fresh and new and kind of digging yourself out of the little cubby that you've put yourself in during winter. And so with that, I'm going to choose two books that I got brand new uh, for favorite spring reads because they're new and they're fresh. And first of these two books that I pulled was A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Um, I went to WonderCon that she was on a couple panels at, and I was able to get her to sign it for me. And I've actually never read any of her work, but I've heard some amazing things, and I plan on getting uh, deeper into her writing uh, depending if I like this book or not. And the second, like, new and fresh book that I pulled was, um, 
a Wayward Pines novel uh, by Blake Crouch, and this was another book that I got at WonderCon. It was free. It was given out to everyone who was at the Wayward Pines panel. Uh, I didn't know that that was going to happen when I went to the panel, honestly. I was just waiting for the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. panel. And, <laughs> and so I sat through like six panels before the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. panel. Uh, and I got this. So, but it, it looks really interesting. And I kind of want to read this before I go and watch the 10 episode summer series that came out last summer. So the seventh question is find a book with many different covers on it and I chose Trevelyan, A Tale of Beauty and the Beast by Naomi Mush. And obviously this is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. It says so on the cover. Um, so it's fantasy and just I could have put this for um, a book that reminded me of spring, the book cover, because it's just so, it's light, and you can see all the green growth, and it's pretty, and uh, I haven't read this one yet, I hope to, um, maybe this spring, we'll see. Uh, my list of TBR is very long, very, very long, so we'll see how it goes. And the final question is, who do I tag? And I don't really know all that many people quite yet on BookTube enough that I can tag them. So, uh, you know, if you want to do this book tag, I've tagged you. Now you're tagged. You can go ahead and go do that. Consider it an official tag. So I will leave in the description any of uh, book reviews that I have to any of these books so far that is the Stephanie Taylor uh, Inside and Out. I will probably leave the book review that I did for the first book in the Return series by Ridley Pearson, which is the current book that I am reading. Um, and I will, I will leave in the description a link to um, Simply a Book Lover's video uh, where I got this tag from, and yeah, uh, follow me on all my social medias, I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, just made, um, a page for me on Facebook as an author, and I'm going to be putting my booktube videos on that page as well, uh, so, you know, like that, that's, or friend me, go to the proper account and friend me, I'm okay with that too. Um, I have a website, an email, I got it all, man. Just communicate with me. I like the communications. We got good communication skills going on here, okay? Okay. So, um, insert a creative outro here, and I will talk to you later. Bye!